Once all the water drips out, what I usually go ahead and do is just kind of remove the uh, first one. You have to let it go through to kind of get all the more prepared. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is um, put the coffee or the basically the name for this one, sorry. I'm going to put that on there, put the coffee thing back in, and I'm going to go ahead and put the water through.
pouring out the coffee. And once it that does that, I use the vanilla drip, and then um, you have to kind of really watch it close because it does get kind of weak looking. So what I do is take that out, and you can see that the coffee or that coffee in there, and just let it drip. So I'm just let it go drip here for a while. Um, while it's doing that, I'm gonna go ahead and get my milk prepared for my half and half. Uh, I use half and half for my coffee. I don't drink straight coffee. I have my sugar here. It's in a really cute little um, mason jar with a lid. It's really, really cute. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and it's stopped for things, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn that off. And I'm gonna go ahead and switch it over to the froth, the frothing. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and shake, shake my half and half. Have it here. I'm gonna shake that again. Shake, 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 shake it all Shake it all the time. Work, work, work it up. That one song from Beetlejuice. So I'm gonna go ahead and pour my half and a half, and we're gonna go ahead and um, put this aside, and we're gonna go ahead and froth our milk. And so the light is on. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is, let me go ahead and show you. That's what it looks like, the white. That means it's ready to be frothed. Um, when the light is on here, that means it's ready for the coffee to be made. Um, this is the on button. This is the froth button. This is the cappuccino. You also have to make sure that this one is pressed all the way down for the frothing. And for the um, cappuccino or the espresso, you put it on up. So you press it and make sure that the button is kind of sticking out. So that's what it looks like here. And go ahead and put it back to where we had our camera. And, um, Here's another way that I also make coffee, but today I'm not making coffee with my mini friend's press. Um, so let's go ahead and get this froth started. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this in here. I'm gonna turn the button. It's gonna come out with um, kind of water in that manner. And so after that's all done, what I'll go ahead and do is put in my milk. And this is when you know that, you know, the milk is being heated up, being steamed. Um, I usually, to make sure that it's all getting correctly done, I move it kind of all over the place, like to the left, to the right, to the top, to the bottom, and then sometimes I go in the middle. And it usually takes about I would say like a minute to kind of get frothed up and to where I really like it um, bub not bubbled, but where it really gets frothed up, not frothed up, but the milk really just, um, what do they call it, not whipped, uh, I would just say froth. So I'll go ahead and do this. <laughs> All right, it looks like it is finally getting really bubbled or it's getting froth. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and take that off. You can see that here you go. You have the froth milk or half and half. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is put this over here. Take this off. Got all the espresso poured into the mason jar, and we're gonna go ahead and put this in there too. So, um, here's what it looks like, and then I'm gonna go ahead and pour the froth in here. And this is actually what it looks like. Usually, I kind of let this drip to get like all the all the foam, all the foam out. And so you can see here that I have a ton of foam. So I'll go ahead and um, wash this out, but I'll go ahead and put my sugar in it. I usually put two teaspoons of sugar, um, but you know, because I'm trying to cut down on sugar, I'm gonna go ahead and just put one. It's still gonna taste amazing, guys. And uh, what I also should tell you that is, I encourage you to wipe this when it's hot. What, what I usually go ahead and do is take a little bit of paper towel with it, and then what I go ahead and do is just wipe it down. Um, and this is what they do at coffee, coffee places when they make your uh, steamed milk or when you order a latte they usually steam your milk using this style and so what they have to always do is they have a wet washcloth and they wipe it down so after that's all cleaned I usually put the cap back on here's the cap put it back on put it back on on turn off the machine and then unplug it. So that's what I'm gonna go ahead and do. Do, you see that my espresso is made. And what I usually do is just give it a little stir. I like eating the foam with the spoon just cause it tastes really good. Um, but that is how I make my espresso latte. Now this is considered two shots of espresso um, and it's so smooth and so good. I'm sorry that I didn't initially go th with my ASMR like whispering throughout the whole thing but I was like well you know the machine is pretty loud so I better start talking a little bit louder instead of whispering. Um, what I'm going to go ahead and prepare for um the video that i'm doing today today i will be eating rainbow cake with jello so i hope you join me for my asmr video hope you guys have a good day